so glad that they finally gave us this one, the uh, combat and upgrades trailer. Because when they first showed the combat, I think it was at IGN first, and it it looked good, but how they presented it, I it, it just didn't. It almost did, but when I saw the ones for um, what was it? Ah, Gamescom. Gamescom. It looks so much better um than beforehand because. Um, they just did it so slowly, but I'm so happy that we can have a full trailer for all the combat. Cause the big thing that's going that is appealing to me right now for Frontiers, outside of like the whole open world areas, is the combat. Because it looks like there's a lot of combat you can do, and I'm really want to see what you can do. So hold on, let me get this trailer going. No, what, what, why is it stuck? Okay, there we go. I like their new logo, by the way. Sonic Frontiers introduces a new take on the action, adventure, and platforming genres by combining blistering speed with blazing combat. Blazing combat, there it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Blistering speed with blazing combat. This man just did like a whole 10 hit combo on this thing rapidly. Adventure and platforming genres by combining blistering speed with blazing combat. For the first time, they were kidding about the combat. Oh my gosh. Exciting and powerful new abilities to learn. I like the uh, skill tree because I, um, I remember seeing a bit of it when they were showing it off at Gamescom. And I, d and I like that idea of just Sonic just getting much stronger and faster um, as you progress. I like that a lot, especially since Unleash had it. Where, even though with Unleash, you had to just keep on getting XP and then choose which one to get. Because for me, what I, would just, what I would do is I would just get by a bunch of chili dogs. I would just buy... 150 over and over again and just feed Sonic as much XP so I can just max out the rings and then everything on the Werehog side. <laughs> to unlock new skills, you'll need to collect enough skills. I love that tech so much. Enemies and breakable items around the islands. Sonic also has his standard move set, including unbreakable Wait, items was that a roll? the islands. Sonic also has his standard move That's set. That's like a cool roll. Attack. Drop dash. What is this area? Oh my god. Okay, I'm liking this part area a lot more. This looks so much better. What the heck? And <gasps> Wait! Standard move set, including a homing attack. Drop dash. The drop dash looks set, so good. Attack. Because we have not, again, we have not even fully seen it. Hold on, let me also move it so we can, uh... So we can uh, f actually see it. I just realized I should probably move because I was probably covering over Sonic. So hold on a second. So let's look at this again. So let me go frame by frame because it looks so smooth with how it's going. I can't. I'm not sure how it's affecting the grass because, like, guys, I'm not sure we can see it that close. I'm gu I'm guessing we'll see like a better version when the game releases. But I just missed spin dashing so much in a game in a 3D area because we haven't had that since 06 and i miss it so badly i get that we have boost which like makes him go faster but my go-to will always be spin dash if i had to choose spin dash over boost i i love spin dash more it's much more fun for me and stomp at the beginning of the game all right oh wait so we do get it at the beginning of the game w's all right yes sir while these moves are effective against normal enemies You'll need to level up and unlock new skills. Yeah, it does look like you'll have to amplify your skills. Awaiting you on the that was Islands. thrown at Gamescom. I like that. A normal enemy on Kronos Island is nothing compared to those on later islands. Oh. So make sure you're collecting the red seeds of power and blue seeds of defense. To red seeds of power and blue seeds of defense. Give yourself a fighting chance. <gasps> oh. Funny thing, so apparently what people were doing were doing the side loop over and over again. And what and they would just keep doing this to this grind out rings and they would do like the I forgot what it's called, but it was like the max speed ability. I maybe they'll explain it here. Alright, here we go. Here comes the combos. As the game progresses and Sonic levels up, so do your enemies. Let's see this. Oh completing combos is a good way to get oh, I love your this. enemies. Completing combos is a good way we to don't even need laser. We don't battle, need laser anymore. Especially when paired with a new skill called Phantom. Alright, let's see this. Sonic's combo oh, meter will fill man. up after attacking enemies consecutively. It looks so Once smooth the combo right meter here. Is maxed out, Phantom Rush is activated, <gasps> and your attack power will be boosted until the meter reaches zero. 
I, I like that. So pretty much, um, the more damage you do, or like the more combos you get, and the more you're rewarded for that. Um, I'm trying to think what somewhat does that. Um, I, I'd say Devil May Cry kind of did it with Virgil, where the more you use your uh, swords ability, you were able to like build up your. Um, I forgot what the meter was called, but the meter allowed you to um, turn into V and also build up Sin Devil Trigger. Deal massive amounts of damage in a short burst. Use Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. That's the exact. I love it. That unleashes shockwaves at the enemy. Another option to dish out major so hurt on your enemies is Wild Rush, a oh. zigzagging attack that sends you crashing into your targets. I love the style for this, just for how it just um, bounces in different zooms. I love the Great whole force. zigzag ability. It's a fast and stylish way to hit your enemies hard. It does the whole also Wild look Rush. so much better. Look at that. A flashy zigzagging it looks attack so that sends much you more clean. Into your targets with great force. It's a fast and stylish way to hit your enemies hard while avoiding- Wait, 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 whoa, 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 hold on. Was that because of the area or hold it's up? It's a fast and stylish way- That was interesting. So for this attack, it made a gray to hit your and then look. Hard while avoiding so I'm guessing like that was because of like, a, a critical Incoming attack or fire. something. That was interesting. All right, here we have Silo. This was the, the ability Certain we saw enemies before. Sonic Frontiers have a shield or barrier protecting them. Yep, those enemies Break look... their shield with Silo and then deal as much damage as you can. Oh, hold up, hold them. up, hold up, hold on a second. Break their shield I, I know. Hold on. The, look, I don't know why, but just the way the spin dash looked right here. Oh my and gosh. And then deal as much damage as you can before it goes back up. Yep. If your opponent happens to land a hit on you, just use the Psy loop ability on the ground to collect more rings and get back in the fight. Oh my god, wait, 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 what's he doing, what's he doing, what's he doing, what's he doing? And get back Look at this, he's building up. He's getting ready. Oh, combat, okay, Guardians. You'll need to study your opponents and determine the best strategy Ooh. to take them on. Encounters with Guardians will require more than just using your homing attack. Of course, you gotta have more techniques. Many of them prompt you to engage with their unique combat mechanics first before reaching their weak spot. Yeah, it's good to see Once that each Guardian opening, will play differently than the other. all the skills you've unlocked from the skill tree. Because I want to be able to use these every skill imaginable. <gasps> oh my god! Look at I, I love this. I love this. Look at this. Experimenting with new abilities. Just the way this spins. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Alright, parry. Here we go. Let's see the parry. Your enemies moves Oof. against them by utilizing parry during combat. A visual that was pretty much Royal Guard. <laughs> if you react quickly enough, oh my you can parry it and oh, follow oh it up with a counterattack of your own. <laughs> Using all these skills and more gives you tons of options Bro. to become the most formidable force in the frontier. Master your approach to battle. And teach your enemies Perry's not wild. to mess with Sonic. What is this? What is this device? Okay. Yep. November eight. Okay. So let me, there was one other thing I saw for like the for like the uh, deluxe edition. What was it? Okay. So yep, we get the mini soundtrack. So I gotta get that. And then let's see here. Amy's token memories, chaos emerald portal gear, and then additional more stuff we can customize with. So we get these boots and brown gloves. So that's all uh, very interesting. But um, we I forgot. So for customizable content right now, we have the Monster Hunter um, stuff that we're getting like two weeks after the game launches on the 16th, I think. And then we're and then for people in Japan, they're getting the Corona uh, outfits. Um, if you want to know who that is, go look it up. But yeah, the combat definitely looks so good. And I do love the interface for it. Because, hold on, where was it? Sonic's combo meter will fill up after attacking enemies consecutively. Once the Yeah, I like how that's shown. So, um, you can just see the combo meter build up on a mirror bar. And then it will just build up over time. And then once it's fully maxed out, here. It looks like this, so... Combo meter is maxed out. Yeah, there we go, Phantom Rush! <laughs> I'm hoping that isn't, like... Is that going to be a reference to, like, the Phantom Ruby at all? Because I'm not sure if they would call it that. Uh, um, otherwise, they could, um... We might expect infinite... Or, you know what? Then again, 
Then again, it might be how, for how fast he's moving because he's moving like a phantom. I'm just gonna get it out there. It's probably because of that. So yeah, I guess this is the third island, I think. The third island, because I think that's what they called it. I think they called it, yeah, the Chaos Island. Because I remember in like one of their, um, I think it was either a Famitsu com or on one of Tails Channels' posts that they said this was the third island. So like the one you see that's like kind of dead and like have like red uh, sparks flying around, that's the third island. So let me go back to where we see more of it. So we saw it there. And we see it also Ooh, here, so I guess that's where the volcano is. So it's pretty much a volcano area where we can just explore, and then at the top we'll see the Man, volcano bro. more. Because we saw the volcano back at the Tokyo Game Show trailer, which also looks nice. Is nothing compared to those. I'm curious if they're gonna have a guardian in that volcano. We get an epic volcano fight. I want to see something like see. that. That's but let me see. Is there any other thing? The detail on the ninja, hold on a sec. The detail on the ninja looks crazy, because... So, look at the top part, so... The, I just love it, because, like, you can just see the rust on the right side, and you just see how clear it is, and I guess it's, like, a different color, so I'm guessing that's what they meant when, um, as you level up, the enemies also get stronger, so I'm guessing this is, like, a stronger version of the ninjas. Com and your attack damage. Let me see. Is there any other shots rush. I missed? Okay, yep, there was that shot of it in as well. But hold on a second. So just use the side loop ability on the ground to collect more rings and So yeah, they talked about this before where the more once you max out your ring gauge, then you'll be able to like go at a very fast pace. It's like I forgot what they called it. I have to double check what they called it, but fight. it looks so good for the, how they transition this. Honestly, oh my gosh, I just love it. Look at this, look at this, look at this. This man just gets... It's all it's the Sonic movie reference, pretty much, where um after he's down fighting Robotnik and Green Hill, he just gets back up and he's just supercharged and just ready to throw down. And yet, look at the whole effects on it. Just look at the all the particles back, back along the with fight. the lightning, and then boom, his eyes. He's ready. I love this. Homing attack. Many of them so I guess for this boss, you're just going to like go on each rail and avoid the projectiles flying at you. And once you do, I think it's supposed to also be like a side loop that builds. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it builds that platform. And then you can jump once you onto have an it opening, and damage it. You can dish out all the That's very creative. I love that. Experimenting with new abilities and discovering each. And the animation is so good. Oh my gosh, I need more of that. Use your enemy's moves against them. By and the parry looks parry so good during... as well. Use your enemy's also, it's interesting how they have the um, life bar come out. Look, look. Yep, oh, and you do see the damage. You do see the damage. Parry I didn't even see combat. that. I can't even see the damage. Lets you know when an enemy is about to attack. Ooh. If you react quick... So you can also parry key, while doing an attack. That's you know interesting. An Alright, wait, here we go. And boom! If you react quickly enough, you can parry it and follow it up with a counter attack. The whole follow up is insane. Using all these skills and more gives you tons of options to become the most formidable force in the frontier. You know, I'm curious if we're gonna get like an act, like someone that fits its size, like a rival fight. I need a rival fight. I think I've mentioned it before, um, in one of the trailer when I was talking about one of the trailers where I want to see like a rival fight happen, and we ha can have someone who's at like Sonic's height and like um body like someone like shadow so we can actually have more of that combat in the actual game because i would just want to see a rival fight so badly in some way i just like we can just use knuckles for it please i need that so badly Matt. but yep that's pretty much it from the trailer so we're getting closer i can almost taste it we're getting closer, so tune in for more. I got more content planned for Frontiers. It's going to be a blast, so be sure to subscribe. We're trying to meet my goal for 40K, so thank y'all for watching, and I shall see y'all in the next one.